and this is x, and this is true. Okay, then of course I can always write the PR as magnitude plus K1x. Right? Because this is a left going way. Okay? Then the pressure and the velocity at x equal zero has to be same, right? So the pressure due to pi would be pi exponential j omega 1t. And the pressure due to reflected wave would be pr exponential j omega 1t, right? That has to be equal to pt exponential j omega 2t, right? And therefore, omega 1 has to be omega 2. Okay? Now you agree, right? So, omega 1 is omega 2. But that does not say anything about the equality between k1 and k2. But anyway, in analogous with two different strings, right? We find the reflection coefficient, that is the ratio between What is it? That is Z0 plus Z1, Z0 minus Z1. Is it correct? Or Z1 minus Z0? Z1 minus Z0. Okay. And Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. The pressure at x equal zero has to be same, continuous, right? The pressure due to pi is pi exponential j omega one t minus. And pressure reflected well, right? That has to be same as pressure the transmitted well, right? And then that is PI plus PR. Right? And I can say this one has to be same as this, and this one has to be same as this. Therefore, omega 1 has to be same as omega 2. Okay? And a more, uh, another way I could say is I'm exciting medium 1, and I'm exciting medium 2 on the surface with a frequency omega 1, then the wave is generated, medium 2 must have the same frequency because that is a linear problem. Okay. What is Yun J to that? Mm, okay. And we sure that this case is analogous with what we learned for the string case, right? Because it's a one dimension. And a different impede characteristic impedance is Z0 and Z1. Therefore, I can also say that 
transmission coefficient, so that is PT over PI magnitude pressure that has to be equal to Z1 plus Z0 to Z0 or Z1? Z0. Okay, that is a trans... Wrong? I think in this case, R must be G0 minus G1 over 2. G0. And some other students say different way. So why you guys fight each other? Yeah, we can check it. For example, if Z0, Z, if Z0 and Z1 is the same, then reflection coefficient has to be 0 because everything is transmitted. And if Z0 is very, very large compared with Z1, then Z0 is very large compared with Z1. The ratio is... <coughs> One, right? That means Z0 is very large. There is a... So I am sending signal from water to air, meaning that the fish is shouting to me, hey, I am here, why don't you catch me? And then the pressure, according to this, trans according to this uh, form, I can, I can hear what I say. Fish can hear what he said because reflection is one. But transmission is because Z0 is very, very large compared with Z1. Tau is two. Therefore, what I can hear, the sound that is shouted by fish is twice louder than Actually, the fish is shouted, right? Indra, you, 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 you agreed with me, right? Yeah, I see. It's the same. But you agree that they, 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 we, what we can hear, I mean, when fish shout, hey, Indra, on the, in the water, then you, you can hear, hey, Indra, is twice louder, right? No? No. Right. This is a simply the, the, magnitude ratio, pressure magnitude ratio, what, what we hear has to be power transmission coefficient that is different as you exercise in HOMO, right? Actually the power transmission coefficient is zero. Therefore, even if a fish shouts very loudly in the water, we cannot hear. <laughs> 